subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Hey friends, how are y'all? Happy New Year's. My name is Brandy, if you're new here, and I have been on WW for a few years now. Had some success, and I went to maintenance last year. Not much success there, but it's not WW. That is my fault. I was not tracking the best. So, I sat down, and I came up with eight tips to help me get back on track with WW. I've done a few tips videos in the past, but these are... Um, a little different from that and I just you know I really thought off the top of my head what are some tips to get me back on track for the new year and this is what I came up with this video will be pretty short and sweet to the point just you know um, I am getting over a cold so please forgive my sound and bear with me so my number one tip is just to start I hear a lot of time anyone that's starting a health weight and loss journey they always say, well, I'll start Monday, or I'll start after vacation, or I'll start after the weekend. I'll start after my birthday. Why do we have to postpone the start date? Don't do that. Just start the day you're watching this video, the day you're looking into your new um, whatever, however you're going to track, your new lifestyle, your new change. Don't set a future date to start. Start everything right then, and that is down to WW2. I used to do this with smoking. I'd be like, oh, I'll start after the week. I'll stop after the weekend. Um, and then finally one day I was just like, just stop today. And you know what? That was almost seven years ago. So it works. I'm telling you. And it doesn't matter if you have a big event coming up that you plan to be like off WWE track for. Say you start today. Say you start. Today is January 1st. You start January 1st. But you know this weekend on the 5th you already have your birthday party. So what? You still could be successful tracking within your points, the first to the fourth. Give yourself the fifth and maybe the sixth off, still track, and then Monday get right back on track. Just because you have an event plan where you may not be eating the healthiest doesn't mean you can't eat healthier leading up to that event. So, as a recap, start. Start now. Not tomorrow. Start now. And my second tip I already alluded to, and that is... Once you're tracking, if you fall off track, get right back on track. Okay, say I had a successful Monday through Friday tracking. Friday night, I went out with the girls. I had two or three margaritas. You know, that'll blow your budget because of all that sugar. Well, I could wake up Saturday morning and go, well, I'm just going to go get fast food breakfast or I'm going to go get Starbucks because I've already fell off the horse, so to speak. But don't have that mindset. Let yourself enjoy an off-track planned or unplanned event. But then the next day, don't use it as an excuse to continue bad tracking. So, when you fall off tracking, get right back on tracking. Get right back on the horse. Um, one bad, bad meal doesn't have to lead to several bad meals, right? So, my third tip, and I need to get better at this for sure, is scanning in the grocery store. Over the years, I've kind of figured out the w, what WW likes and doesn't like. It doesn't like high sugar. It doesn't like high fat. It likes high fiber. It ha likes high protein, that sort of thing. But every once in a while, I'll grab something and I look at the nutrition. I'm like, oh, this will be fine. And then when I bring it home and go to eat it or go to add it in a recipe, I scan it and I'm in shock. This happened the other day with just two cans of beans. I was making chili. I grabbed a can of black beans and I grabbed a can of... Uh, what were the other beans? Light kidney beans, I think. Well, when I looked on the back, they both looked like beans. I didn't notice anything, but sure enough, when I got home, one of them scanned for zero, and the other one scanned for like two points a cup when I know there was zero point option available. So, and there was, I think, added sugar in those that I didn't pick up when I quickly scanned in the store. So, really, I know it's kind of cumbersome to scan in the store, but they did do an app upgrade, and it's much quicker, at least mine is, so take the time to really scan it. Don't just assume it'll be lower points. And when you scan it, a little bonus tip is check the nutrition quickly compared to the label because there are a lot of things that scan in incorrectly. Like I know for one, Great Value Hamburger Muns, they scan in for four, but they're really only three. So you'll save a point just by paying attention. My fourth tip is use your resources for success. And that includes the WW app. They have a lot of great recipes in there. They have a lot of great articles. Use YouTube. Um, YouTube's a great place to find 
re lower point replacements for foods you already eat. It's a great, great source of uh, information. A lot of people have like top food replacements, what to buy on WW at Trader Joe's, what to buy on WW at Target. There's those lists all out there. A lot of blogs cover WW. There's a wealth of information about success at WW on the internet. So really use those resources, especially when you're starting off. It really helps. It helps to motivate you um, when you're successful in finding items that work for you i think this plan will work out a lot better in the long run so it's best to get your favorite replacement items now and i do think that's a big part of the key to success on ww is finding replacement items because you could be successful and only eat uh clean protein and vegetables you know but i don't that's not sustainable so to me you got to find your favorite you know if you're a cheese person you have to find your favorite replacement cheeses even if you like wine you know there's some lower point wines learning those ticks tricks i think is ultimately what leads to great ww success long term my opinion of course another tip i have for tip 5 is focus on the food first if you're newly starting a program plan specifically to lose weight it's really easy to go okay i'm going to change my nutrition and then i'm going to start running five miles a week uh doing too much at once is too big of a change for a lot of people and therefore you're not successful on either front so i find that the nutrition especially if you're in weight loss is going to control your weight a lot quicker than doing movement and i think that's a pretty general consensus and it took me a few years to grasp that so once you hone in your nutrition and you're really successful losing some pounds on WW that way, then and start incorporating the movement. Um, obviously, I'm not saying be stationary, but don't go all in with activity and weight loss mode on WW at once. It's just too much, especially if you are a person that is not normally active. So focus on the nutrition first. Movement will come second, I promise you. Uh, my sixth tip is plan ahead and that doesn't necessarily mean meal planning for the week you know breakfast lunch and dinner that means as little as if you're going out to eat with friends at a restaurant take a peek at the menu beforehand so you have some good options you could have already tested them out in the app that sort of thing it means going to the grocery store with some sort of plan in your head for the week it doesn't mean you have to cook every lunch and every breakfast and totally meal plan it. Just prepare and plan yourself for a successful week. Because if you don't keep the healthy stuff in the house, you're going to fail. You're going to be forced to grab food out or eat whatever may be in the house for the kids or the husband. So set yourself up, set, so set yourself up for success by just taking a few minutes every week to really just think about the food you're going to eat. And then make the grocery list, put in the grocery order, that sort of thing. A little goes a long way. Um, even planning to pick up a rotisserie chicken, that's an easy, easy way. Bag salads are another easy way. But you really have to pay attention to those because they can get high point really quickly. My seventh tip is reward yourself. Set yourself little mini goals. I don't want to hear, I'm going to lose 100 pounds and I'm going to buy a new car. No, you set yourself up, you know. If I lose five pounds, then I'm going to go get my pedicure. Um, maybe if I lose 20 pounds, I'm going to go on a little shopping spree. That sort of thing. Reward yourself and make it stuff you want. Um, I wouldn't suggest to always reward yourself with a cheat meal because that could get dangerous. But, you know, and we don't have to call it a cheat meal. I get that. I I think it's, I can, calling it a cheat meal, I understand it's bad and good. I don't really think about it that much, to be honest. But just reward yourself with something nice that will mean something to you and motivate you to keep going. And my eighth tip, and probably one of the most important tips I can say, is don't focus solely on the scale. Yes, the scale matters. But man, you know us women, we can weigh more before our time of the month. We can weigh more during our time of the month. Afterwards, it's not consistent. So what I say to do as far as the scale goes, always weigh yourself at the same time on the same day. And don't take it with a grain of salt. Over time, it'll, you know, it fluctuates day to day and will average out. So either track once a month or you can track daily. But don't get upset if you weigh yourself and you're a pound heavier. 
pound heavier from the previous day, no, that's probably not really a true pound of weight gain. Um, and with not only focusing on the scale, that also means, you know, take some measurement, take some before photos, or people telling you you're looking good, or you feeling good, or you feeling healthier, or you feeling stronger, that sort of thing. So don't solely focus on the number. So those are my eight tips, and I really hope that helps you out. Hopefully it'll help me out. I need to regain my focus this year. Um, in 2023, my focus was building lean muscle on maintenance with WW, and that's all going to change. I don't think I've succeeded there, and my weight slowly crept up just a little, but I'm at that point right now where just even 5 to 10 pounds off I'd feel ha happier with in my body and just more comfortable, so that's what I'm going to try to do this year, but I'm still going to lift heavy and see how that works out, and I'm also going to focus on increasing my protein, I think, so. Okay, bye friends, and I apologize for my voice. I'm getting over a cold, but I wanted to get this video out at the beginning of the new year. Bye.